be strong. Be strong. Breaking news! Tiny scientist Morris has made clones of it all in an attempt to give us immortality. However, his good plan has turned bad now that the clones have turned out to be evil. Watch out for your evil clone in case it happens to be wanted to take Okay, so the first part of our reader's notebook is the reading comprehension part. So hopefully you've all read the camp story. If you haven't read it or listened to it, now would be a good time to do that. And you can go and read it, and it's about the traits. So we're talking about characterization, and characterization is about understanding the traits of a character by looking at the words that they say. See that evil clone map has arrived. It's okay though. I think we can placate him by asking a series of questions. So, uh, evil clone map. Um, what would you say that the characteristics of Yen Yen are? And what evidence would you use to support your answer? Don't know why you're calling me evil, Matt. It's clear that you are the evil one. As to your question, you will find that a trait of Yen Yenosaurus is that she is a Tyrannosaurus. I know that because I, I saw it in the picture in the video. That, that's exactly the kind of ridiculous answer we'd expect from an evil clone. No, no, you can do better. Think about Yen Yen's traits, Yen Yenosaurus' traits. Just coincidentally sounds like Yen Yen. And what evidence we could find the things that she says, write three of them. That is why there are three lines. Write three things that she says that support those traits. So, then pick one more character and talk about that one character's traits. What trait does that character have and what evidence can you have to support it? The next section is vocabulary. So, in our vocab, we're just going to put the words into the sentence. For example, uh, I'm sure evil Matt would know what the word immerse means. Well, it's pretty obvious that immerse, in the, the prefix meaning not merse, not merse, seems like the answer to me. What an evil person. And then we're just going to stick those in the sentence, remembering to, to use grammar labels if you can. So uh, Oliver Pussy is going to give you a quick, quick uh, review of what the words mean. Discomfort is not comfortable. Interrupt is to talk over. Primitive means simple or basic. Interior is inside of. Immerse is to put into water. Brandish is to hold up. Honor is to feel pride and happy of something. Shift is to move. Disturb is when you are doing something and somebody is annoying you. Annoying you. Ah! 
Next is our language skills page. So with language skills here, we're doing adages and proverbs. Uh, obviously, these are phrases that have specific meanings that people are well known and that they're not necessarily the literal meaning of what is being written. So I'll just check with Evil Matt, see what he can get for. It's better to give than to receive. I'll be giving you a taste of my fist. A change is as good as a rest. When I change your face with my foot, you'll be taking a rest after that. Many hands make light work. All oh, my many hands will make light work of you. <sighs> All good things must come to an end. Well, yeah, you're not much of a good thing, but you'll come to an end, all right? It's better to be safe than sorry. Well, you're gonna wish you were safe. You'll be sorry you didn't. But what? A penny saved is a penny earned. I expect you, you've never earned a penny in your life, so you wouldn't know, would you? If you can't beat them, join them. Don't you worry about it, I can beat them. Honesty is the best policy. Honestly, you're the ugliest person I've ever seen. Well, after that complete nonsense, I'm gonna give it a go at Ryan Rabbit to, to try to explain. It is better to give than to receive. Thank you. I feel good. A change is as good as a rest. Ooh, working from home, it's fun, relaxing. Many hands make life work. All of us help me to build this rocket. Do, do, work it together. Easy work and together. All good things must come to an end. Bye bye, all of the bus. Bye bye, Ryan Rabbit. It is better to be safe than sorry. I am wearing my helmet in case I crash. A penny saved is a penny earned. I always buy the cheapest candy. If you can't beat them, join them. Have a Maria. Oh. Honesty is the best policy. Honestly, I hate your singing. Okay, I'll stop. Next sentence, uh, next part is grammar, and grammar here we're talking about the four main types of sentences. One, two, three, four. Evil Matt, what are the four types of sentences? You'll find they're long sentences, short sentences, tall sentences, and not tall sentences. What? Oh, he's so evil. Luckily, Oliver Puss and Brian Rabbit are here to help remind you of the four main types of sentences. Ryan Rabbit jump. Imperative. 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 Ryan Rabbit, are you happy? Interrogative. 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 Ryan Rabbit. You're a rabbit! Declarative! 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 Why a rabbit? Run! Exclamatory! 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 So all you have to do is write which type of sentence each of them is. After that, just write the correct end mark. Boonk! Or... Boonk! Or... Boonk! At the end of the next sentences last section is about adding emotion or feelings to our work. Here, look, we're going to start with a simple sentence like, you walked into 
the arena and we're going to add some complications to it like he felt sad or felt depressed or his heart sank or he uh, felt full of terror when he walked into the arena we're adding this emotional detail take the sentence add some emotional detail let's give evil math one last chance to try to be a decent person about this i think the emotion i'd like to add is that you're kind of dumb right i mean i have had it up to here with evil math go Oh no, doggy, doggy, he's gone crazy, doggy. He's gone crazy, bro. <laughs> so, sorry about that, children. He, but he is really quite evil. Um, make sure that you proofread and check that you've read the questions carefully. Evil Morris's clones continue to run across the country. No one is safe. Wait, what's that? Behind the curtain? Somebody's staring into your window. Could it be evil you? Evil Ryan, evil Jack, or evil Charlene? Perhaps they've come to replace you. Eat your food and do your homework. Make sure you run when you see them, children. <laughs>